Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Xi'an. We're going to go to the ancient city wall. We're going to go to the bell tower. We're going to go to the wild goose pagoda later. It's all kicking off. It's all happening. I'm excited because I haven't been here before. <laughs> I stayed here for a month, like three years ago. So we're back. ecosystem life experience but it's basically a food hall where you charge your card and it has lots of like northern chinese things so i got a meat pie it's like a chinese sausage roll except it's huge and it fills you up for 10 quiet i'm eating starbucks veggie quesadilla which isn't really a quesadilla but it's veggie from starbucks today i ordered in chinese for the first time hope you're proud of me guys well, give me a thumbs up it's like the longest escalator in China? I don't know. Apparently. Up. Who knows? So we have just arrived at the Xiaoyan Pagoda or the Little Goose Pagoda. The ticket was free to get in. It's crazy that most cities in China, you don't really have to pay to see the, the sights. Don't be deceived by the grey skies in Xi'an. It's very much still hot. The, the top of this was actually knocked off by an earthquake. You know, when architecture meets nature, it really takes you away. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a better view of the top of the pagoda. You can actually see where it was knocked off by the earthquake. If we're now at the bell tower, the tickets cost 30 quite each. Once again, you had to use your Chinese ID and we asked the man how to do it with our passports, but he just used his own Chinese ID again. It's really nice of them to do this though. I feel like I'm in Paris at the Arc de Triomphe, but no, I'm in Xi'an. Oh, there's the bell. So this bell tower was built in the 1300s. Who knows if it's the actual original structure? It says it's had many repairs since. Many repairs. This is the view from the top of the bell tower. Down here is like the main gate. At the end here is another gate. All around the city is a huge ancient wall. It's like the only one preserved other than the Great Wall of China. My legs hurt. You are beautiful. <laughs> we were just attacked by a, a live stream Chinese man. We were telling him we didn't understand what he was saying, but he continued to talk Chinese to us. Anyway, here's the drum tower. We're having a quick break in KFC and we are learning some Chinese. These are words that we've learned recently. What's hot? Da. No, that's big. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Well done. Mm -hmm. So this is the bell tower where we just were. And now we are at the drum tower. We just paid 30 for that ticket. And then we realized that you can get a joint ticket for the bell tower and the drum tower for 50. There seems to be many different drums. In the past, they actually use this to measure the time of year. Beginning of rainfall. The walking of insects. The waking of Waiting. <laughs> Just below the drum tower is the start of the Muslim quarter down here. Oh my god, they have big Coca-Cola. <gasps> I love a Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Coca 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 we are now heading into the Muslim quarter. It's about to get crazy. These are so cool, yeah. We are now at the Great Mosque of Xi'an. It costs 25 each. This mosque was originally set up in 742 AD. And this is the biggest mosque in China? China, yeah. Biggest mosque in China. But obviously the architect is very Chinese-y. It's not a mosque as we would know it. No. But Xi'an is located at the end of the Silk Road, which comes from the Middle East. That's why there's a lot of Muslims here. That's why there's the biggest mosque in China. Which means there's a big Muslim community yeah. in this area. This is the original stone tablet. It's like encased in glass. It's 1,300 years old. Very old. That's wild. I feel like it extends very far, this mosque. I made friends. So 
this is the prayer hall inside there. Um, we can't actually go in. I don't think we should anyway because it's oh, no, disrespectful. Not. So we just saw someone walk out of the prayer hall. It's definitely in Geese. But the guy that walked out isn't Chinese. No. The guy that took that footage, he's from Pakistan and he's here as a student. He was wondering why we're here because there's not really many tourists in Xi'an right now. And he was so nice. He was telling us he's, things to do. Yeah, he's told us like times of things that we're going to go see tonight that we couldn't find online. This is the Muslim quarter. It's huge and crazy. They're not just selling food, they're selling everything. It's very warm. We're trying to boost up on our energies. Chaos. We have just arrived at Guangren Temple and we're right next to the city walls. This is a Tibetan style temple. We just walked around the corner and found this crazy building. This is so cool. There's not even that many people here. No. This is the Blessing Wall. So we're an Indian. I have chicken tikka masala. There's a naan here. Explain what you have to do. Right now, I have <laughs> peanut masala. That's peanuts. A peanut curry. I asked for paneer because I don't have any like veggie ones that I wanted and he kept saying peanut I thought it was just his accent no I really have peanuts <sighs> Anyhow, we're currently at the ancient city wall oh. and it's sunset it's very pretty oh, no. <laughs> So it turns out you have to pay to go on the wall and we're going to go on there tomorrow for a lot longer. So we decided to go to the Big Goose Pagoda and there's a light show. And now we know the times because the guy at the mosque earlier told us. There's lots of people taking pictures of us right now. Especially men filming us. So I like creepy. it. We just got to the pagoda. It's completely covered in scaffolding. At least there's like an actual fountain show that we're going to see. We are now entering Dayang Everbright City. This is a huge pedestrian street. We've walked 10 minutes and now look at all these buildings. They've got their aesthetics on point. The louder you scream, the more the fountain goes. What the hell? I'm trying the wonton. I don't actually know if they call wontons, but inside it looks like there's like chives. 
This is extremely rare footage of Lou eating Chinese food. You like it? It's okay. It's a bit spicy. Turns out they also have trinkets as well as food at this market. If you've seen our previous vlogs, you'll know that me and Amy are both Lao Shus. And the Zodiac. We are rats. I bought a Kiri with a Lao Shu on it too. I just bought a Chinese hamburger, which is basically like two pieces of bread and then lots of interesting meat and vegetables inside. It's nice. Juicy meat, fresh meat, and it cost me 12. Where we're sat right now, there is literally empty tables, yet they have decided to sit here with us. We just bought some potatoes, <laughs> they cost 10. humid right now. It's not even that hot. It's like 26 degrees. Just having a little bit of a breakdown. Breakdown over. I have a rash under my armpits. Walking by the city wall in this like cute park. We're heading to the east gate. We're at the east gate of the city for we just found out that the wall was built in 1370. So it's like almost 700 years old. Later we're going to be cycling around it, so stay tuned to see what it's like on top of the wall. We're in Pizza Hut. We've taken a little bit of a break because we're a bit tired after our week-long <laughs> travels and like walking 25,000 steps a day. <laughs> we're taking it easy and having a, a long lunch. Break. We're taking it easy before our three-hour cycle around the wall later. We're on a very artsy street right now. Two well, men. men. And there's loads of like calligraphy supplies. <laughs> Basically, if you want to do arts and crafts, this is the place to come. We are in the south gate. Just walking up to the wall now. Let's go up the stairs, onto the wall. The fortification. The fortification. <laughs> So we just cut our bikes and we've tested them for like a minute. Mine doesn't stop fucking squeaking, it's so embarrassing. So we just made it to the west gate. So we've literally just gone a quarter of the way around. That's pretty good, a quarter. Yeah, we've done it in like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's meant to take three hours to do the whole thing. 100% we're gonna do it. Like <laughs> we are speeding around. These bikes are awful. This is the temple we were at yesterday, the Guangren temple. To rent these bikes, we paid 45 yuan each, and then there's a 100 deposit as well. This wall is 18 kilometers long. But we've almost done half yet. Yeah, we're almost halfway in we, 40 minutes. We do like go fast. <laughs> it's like get the pain out the way quickly. <laughs> We made it to the northeast corner. The way that we're literally treating this like a workout when it's meant to be a nice touristy bike ride. <laughs> Amy's face is having a bit of a meltdown right now. <laughs> this is an antiseptic wipe, I'm using it as a face wipe. <laughs> That's how low my life is right now. We finished cycling the wall. We cycled 18 kilometers. We're cycling for three hours. We did have a like a lot of breaks and we did stop for half an hour at one point. It was a lot though. It was fun. The last bit was good. It was all downhill. She cried one point. <laughs> but what's new? <laughs> Who is that girl I see? Staring straight back at me. When will my reflection show? Who I am? Inside. We're in McDonald's. It's 
10 o'clock. I just bought a hug and dad's ice cream for five pounds. I'm dead. I'm dead. We've done 25,000 steps. This whole week of traveling. We've cycled 18 kilometers today. We just got our bags from the hotel. And now we're heading to the train station to leave. It's a very busy train station. Very new and modern. Yeah. And we can get our snacks. We just got back to our apartment um, from our five hour train and then we got the metro and it's been very, very long. We've just been away for a week and we've been to other cities in China. So if you haven't seen them already, subscribe to our channel, go watch the videos, give us a thumbs up. We're now gonna sleep for a long, long time. Bye. Bye.